<laughs> Next up, we have Laphorism number 12. If, it's ever, if it ever rains cats and dogs, call the animal shelter. Okay, we have Caleb next. Is Caleb here? Yeah! Yes, he is, Caleb. Yeah. Yes. Does Caleb have a bio? Alright. Caleb, although he may rock the Justin Bieber haircut, he has a lot more time. <laughs> you told me to have that. <laughs> but this guy, fortunately, has a lot more talent, passion, compassion. <laughs> and a love for everything poetry. Here he is, without further ado, Caleb. Thank you for that awesome bio. <clears throat> Make some noise again for me, I'm kind of nervous. I've never done this before. One of these, my first time at Parkdale Street Writers, when I actually performed, and I was extremely nervous. I didn't know what to write about, so I decided to write about my headphones. Yeah, it's weird, but... Hey, what you know? All right, yeah, I know headphones. <laughs> this is Parkdale Street Writers. It was with this guy. He, he inspired me to write poetry, along with Emily. So make some noise for those people as well. I won't be bothered by your rhythm and blues, but I won't share with people what I'm listening to. I got a mind in my headphones. There's not a cry or a deaf tone that's not trying to let go. Swimming through this pool of music, do a dive and a breath stroke. So put those in your ear and try to vibe to my headphones. I probably copped at least a hundred. Don't think I ever had a favorite. I never planned to break, I wish I had some better hands to place them in my ear so I can hear the bass and the beat, whatever the artist is saying to me. I go through so many, in fact, they just got some new ones, but the battery died when I left, so I didn't get to use them. So I memorized the melody, my memory is weird though, so crisp to hear, it's crystal clear, I don't even need my earphones. You're welcome. <laughs> the two-piece combo because it's Tuesday and uh, KFC is right over there. <laughs> All right. This one I just wrote today before I came here. It's not the greatest, but I'll work with it. Public speaking, battle rapping, both really opened my shelf. I feel I'm doing noticeably well inside my poetry well. But I wonder how I sound inside the mind of all the beings if maybe they're just finding signs of weakness while I bide my time with teachings. You inscribe your violent speeches that I try to hide with preachers buried deep beneath the scriptures. If I could paint a perfect picture or escape the worlds that glimmer, I, would, I wouldn't waste a further whisper. i just make my way to get there. Serenade a certain place and maybe wait to see who listens. Patiently take my words to rhythm and recreate a state of fission. Thank you. It means a lot that you're talking to me right now. This one I wrote during work when I was pretending to actually do work. I call it aspects. They call me Grimace. I guess that's sort of a name. More of a contortion of face, because I'm disgusting, averse, and abhorrent in taste. I'm soaring, drifting, so I can try and ignore all the hate, while I'm flying and just gliding through the sky and stay on course till I break. A fight between a lord and a snake. Grab the fruit and set it to the side. I'm always accepting other lies because they were a blessing in disguise. Respect and never mind unless you're messing with my mind. It always seems I'm always next to get a line to be the face of that crescent in the sky. I'm not saying I fully understand all the lessons. Don't use my hand as a weapon. I ain't in panic or stressing. Don't suffer from manic depression. I just grab a pen and build myself up till I fall from the atmosphere and then land into heaven. 
Tell myself the earth is floating to ignore how I feel about the weight of the world. Clouded mind, clammy hands, gramming the gate made of pearls. Firmamental, enter my dimensions, forthright. I'll drop you off, feeling lackluster, going back to the rock that I wrap under and enter the old mind state that I had last summer. A bad cover, incognito, cause I'm see-through when I'm being facetious. There's a couple of aspects, I can catch a few when I read this. Graffiti writing on cop cars, call it 5-0, I hope that you keep six. Not a vandal, I'm a form of art that likes to procreate. Listening to tracks from my headphones with distorted bass till I can contort my face and grimace again. The kind of ink that I drop is hot enough to diminish a pen. Start tipping the chefs, ignore the waiters as I'm eating all the menus. I hope you receive all they lent you while I'm speaking at this venue. All those starving artists and martyr targets who are bleeding to defend you. I tend to start slow when this art form. Need to work my aim while I'm shooting at the dartboard, but not a prodigy. I'm riding the coattails of a dark horse. A stark warning to the weary, but I refuse to ever act fast unless I'm on the fast track. Getting down to brass tacks, you never want to have the last laugh. Don't make any deals or believe shit just cause you heard the devil say he will try to maneuver your own talents on this level playing field. Pull the plug or polish or push the envelope, we're at the brink of addiction, we're at the brink of extinction. And it's not because I have a drinking addiction, this way of living makes me sick and puke all over the sink in the kitchen. Skyscrapers, life takers, who decides who gets to be the mind changer? Design majors, wine tasters, or all of the rhyme sayers, the mic slayers, line breakers, you cats who always fight danger. Don't know who I'm supposed to pick, I'm just trying to find my right savior. I usually wake up on my couch, not hungover, I'm still buzzing. If I slept on a bed, I'd avoid the wrong side of its part. A gambit strategy to opener and let the pond die for a quick start. Wake up and smother coffee and try to find meaning. All eyes on the kit chart. Find nothing in the meaningless, so I don't know where I'm at today. Don't need an annotating mantra or recognition through an accolade. I'll ostracize the ostentatious and show off the quintessential beings. I will laugh at your non sequitur or leave a special reason. Implementing insults at me and rephrasing euphemisms, turning it into a tirade. Trying to finagle a win with the audience, but all you're doing is making me irate. A commotion only goes noticed if the echo is a pockle. Ripping through the goosebumps of the fickle opinions of lost souls. It's so sporadic, the change is odd sense of timing. Not one to follow by example. I'm not parting the seas or trying to spark a belief. Never believe that you are what you eat, but if I started to feed, I'd digest the stories of wounded soldiers who wear a purple heart on their sleeve. If you could let sleeping dogs lie, I'd be sleeping every second. I didn't hear any arguments or been seeing any mentions, so tell me why you're agitated and breathing heavy. I thought the feeding, the feeding frenzy ended. Thank you. So it's people like Caleb and Addy and many others here that shows what hip hop is supposed to be like. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to interrupt the regular programming because we've got a special guest. His name is Jesse, aka JSA. Yeah, it's Jesse. That's you, brother. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna play a little song, and then Jesse, if he feels like it, he's that kind of a star. If he wants to do it, he's just gonna sing. If he doesn't, whatever. Okay, he's gonna be singing. Come here, buddy. You sing? Yeah. I DM. Say hello, son. Say hello. <laughs> I'll play the spoken word hip hop version. Twinkle, twinkle, yo, in the sky, yeah, that's it. How I wonder what you are up above. Thank you, that's all. <laughs>
Can we give a nice? Can I get from you guys the cutest uh, applause ever for the cutest child ever? A little cute applause. It's a little. With your, with your palms. You just you want to play? Sure. Amazing. It's okay. I, I could use music to this actually. I was looking for a wingman. Who found it? Right. That's a little loud. That's, that's a, all right. It's okay. It's still on warranty. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Yeah, don't show up. It's not good. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So Jesse comes to all of our performances and crashes them. That's just his style. It's awesome though, because he's cute. But one day when he's not cute, then won't be cool anymore. So get it over while I can. Aphorism. <laughs> just kidding. When he starts to be cool, he won't be cute anymore. Exactly. So stay cute. Um, aphorism number fourteen. Are y'all ready for this? The more, the merrier. Unless you work for waste management. <laughs> more is... <laughs> tough crowd, tough crowd. Tough crowd, tough crowd. <laughs> they might not speak English, whatever, that's cool. 